everyone and welcome. In this particular video, I'll be sharing with you about thesis writing, especially on the preliminary pages, such as the title page, the approval sheet, and other preliminary pages. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell so that you will be notified when we'll be uploading videos like this. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how it looks like how the title page, the approval sheets, the other preliminary pages look like if you are now at the point of writing those specific parts of a thesis paper. Now, the design of the format, the formatting is dependent on the specific format per institution. So every institution will have different format, but more or less, they actually look the same, especially if you're studying um, undergraduate degrees or your graduate degree program in the Philippines or most probably in in Asia and, and other parts of the world but maybe other countries also have different format and other formalities in their thesis document but in this case uh, I'll be sharing with you based on experience and so if you're using the same format then good for you now we have of course some preliminary pages such as um, the title page, the approval sheet, the acknowledgement, the dedication, abstract, table of contents, list of figures and list of tables, and other important preliminary pages. But we'll be focusing on this one because uh, more or less they're actually just uh, similar to other formats that are available or that are being uh, thought based on the educational system of the Philippines. Now, the title page, of course, is a very important one because it contains the actual title, uh, the office of which the thesis is submitted, uh, the statement of the purpose of the thesis, and the author's name, and the month and the year. Now, the approval sheet contains introductory statements, name of the panelists for the design hearing, name of the panelists for oral defense, which more or less are the same individuals. Uh, in some other institution, uh, they just have one set of names but some institutions have two different sets of names during the design hearing and the oral defense design hearing being the thesis proposal hearing and oral defense is the final oral defense now uh, the next one is the detail of the defense process like the date when was the comprehensive exam conducted um, so on and then um, we have the signature of the dean uh, after the approval of the uh, thesis. And we have the acknowledgement and the dedication, which is in the privilege of the author. So you, the author can write whatever, acknowledge whoever the author would acknowledge and whoever would the author dedicate the work. And we also have the abstract, which con contains more or less 300 words which contains the objective, methodologies, results, and discussion, conclusions, recommendations, and keywords. And we also have the table of contents, the title page two, the list of tables uses a small caps uh, Roman numerals, uh, just like in the screen that is displayed. And then uh, chapter one uh, is the start of page one, usually in the upper right corner of the page or the each pages of the document and we have list of figures all figures that are in the thesis will be listed in the list of figures and all of those tables in the thesis will also be listed under the list of tables now at this point i'll be sharing with you my screen so that you will be able to see how would it look like these preliminary pages based on our institutional format now again uh, as a disclaimer not all formats are the same it is dependent on the institutional level so you just have to ask based on your institutional format to to follow that one but more or less the content are the same so i'll be sharing you my screen all right so we are now on my a microsoft word document and this is actually the sample of how the title page actually look like now we have here the the title of the thesis itself now 
if you're new to this channel, I would recommend that you watch the video on how to construct the thesis title because there are tips that you will learn. I'll be linking the video in the description below, so just check it out. So we have here the use of social media and its effect on consumer behavior. We can get the meaning of this title based on the two variables, which is the use of social media and its corresponding effect to consumer behavior. So the independent variable is the use of social media and the dependent variable is the consumer behavior. As much as possible, make the title simple and understandable so that you will be able to convey the right message to your readers. You can insert there like a subtitle or probably the method that is used in that specific thesis paper. But, you know, the simpler, the better so that it makes it more understandable to the reader, especially if they are not um, experts in that specific field. So avoid those jargons that are very difficult to actually understand if you are not an expert of that specific field. And then we have here the institution or the office of which you are going to submit the thesis. So a thesis presented to the College of Business Management in the International University of the Philippines or whatever, Harvard University, whatever. And then you provide the address. And then we have here the purpose of the, the thesis, which is um, impartial fulfillment of the requirements for the degree of Master in Business Administration or Bachelor in Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, uh, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, whatever. So that is the purpose. The purpose of this thesis is uh, to fulfill the requirements of the degree. Right? This is the this is the purpose of thesis actually that is required for a particular degree. That makes thesis a different research endeavor from all other researches because a thesis is a requirement for a degree. Then you have your name. Here in our example, we use this Taylor Swift and May 2025 or May 2026, whatever. Just put the date and the and the month and the year specifically of which um, you finish the thesis. And then we have here the, the approval sheet, the sample of an approval sheet. Uh, we have here the thesis entitled Examining Employee Profiles and Commitment, the Role of Satisfaction and Organizational Support in HR Practices. So basically in this one, sample title, we are using what we call as a subtitle. The study is about examining employee profiles and commitment. Now, here we added a subtitle, the role of satisfaction and organizational support. So employee profiles and commitment, and then we extract satisfaction and organizational support, HR practices, and then we determine whether or not these satisfaction and organizational support actually helps employees to be more committed. That's the, the thought of, of the thesis. Now, prepared by or prepared and submitted by uh, the name of the author and partial fulfillment for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration um, has been examined and recommended for acceptance and approval for design hearing. So this is now the thesis advisory committee. These are the panelists of the design hearing. Now, there are mechanics of how the design hearing or the thesis proposal would work. Um, this also depend on the institutions probably there are certain time limits number of slides in the presentation and number of minutes per panel in terms of asking questions to individual researchers so just uh, abide by that specific rule just ask your advisor or probably your instructor or professor in that research subject now we have here the chairman and in our case, we have, in this example, we have uh, three members and one advisor together with a chairman. That's five panel of examiners. That is the thesis advisory committee. And then the panel of examiners, this is now for the oral uh, defense, the final oral defense approved by the committee of oral examination, an oral examination held on. You have to provide the date 
with a grade of passed if you passed or failed if you you know failed so if you failed probably you will not have to produce this approval sheet because the idea is you will produce approval sheet if you're already done and your thesis has been approved and you pass the the oral examination so most probably it should have a grade of passed otherwise you have to redo the thesis or probably based on the comments of the members of the panelists and you will comply that uh, so that you will produce an approval sheet and then accepted and approved in partial fulfillment for the requirements of the degree of Bachelor of Science in Business Administration in this example a comprehensive examination if there is a comprehensive examination the date of the design hearing or the thesis proposal you have to provide the date of the thesis proposal and then the date of the oral exam which is the oral defense and then signed by the dean in this example we have Jose Protasio Rizal Jose Perizal uh, PhD the dean and then following that is the acknowledgement now the acknowledgement you have to make sure of course while it is true that this is sort of within the author's privilege to actually write the the acknowledgement but you have to provide acknowledgement to the panelists members of the panel to everyone who helped you in the formulation of the thesis or probably in one way or another have helped you in the drafting and refining your thesis so uh, i would just like to read this acknowledgement no? this is just an example anyway so i would like to extend my deepest gratitude to dr emilio aguinaldo this is the first president of the philippines uh, uh, just using the names of um, heroes in in our country in the philippines so you might as well enjoy uh, hearing their names uh, some of them are very popular and there are also other names that i included here that might not be from the philippines uh, yeah we have here barack obama the former president of the united states that's just an example anyway so chairman of the committee whose unwavering support insightful feedback and invaluable guidance so on I am also deeply indebted to my advisor, Dr. Lapulapo, whose wisdom and encouragement just put some flowery words, whatever, in the acknowledgement by acknowledging these individuals that help you in the, in the drafting and refining your thesis a paper. Now, uh, you also may acknowledge your, your family or certain individuals that help you in the drafting or probably in one way or another, probably in, in kind or by moral support whatever that helped you in the drafting and finishing the entire thesis then we have here the dedication uh, you actually mentioned several certain individuals probably or your friends or anyone probably some professors or mentors who are being imparted just which wisdom and in guiding you with patience and understanding whatever as long as in dedication this is not something about the the content of the thesis this is about to whom will this thesis be dedicated to i have seen some theses that are dedicated to themselves but you know that's kind of narcissistic but there's no boundaries into that you can just provide some dedication to certain individuals probably your spouse your wife your girlfriend your husband or whatever and then you provide your name or the name of the author now we will skip the abstract because we will have a different discussion on how to draft the abstract probably that's the next video that you're going to be checking on in this youtube channel so that you will also learn how to draft the abstract so we'll have a video on the actual drafting of a sample abstract based on specific data we have actually a formula in drafting the abstract because there is a certain limitation in number of words that you can write in the abstract and there are also certain formats based on institutions i'll be sharing you the format based on our institution then we have table of contents of course um, you have the title page and the contents of the thesis and so on this is just a sample of the table of contents and then we have list of figures and then after the list of figures you have another dedicated page for the list of tables so basically this is how the preliminary pages of the thesis look like four questions you may comment down below so that probably i may answer those questions i will also be sharing this sample through a link 
which I will be posting in the description. So if you want a copy of this sample, you may also download it through the link that is posted below. So thank you very much. I hope that you learned something in this discussion. Until the next video, God bless everyone.